Well, welcome back guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am your captain on this trip and today we are out here chasing stripers for the spring run 2024 striper season. We're kicking it off. It was a rainy, rainy morning and it's expected to be rainy for the next two days. So we're out here, we're crazy, but we want this kickoff. He wanted the kickoff, I wanted the kickoff and I'm going crazy, so we're kicking it off. So now you know what we're about to do. We're gonna be chasing the stripers, the spring run stripers. I mean, water temperatures is about 59 degrees. We do want another two degrees or so before the stripers really, really start spawning. But we will find them anyway over in the San Joaquin. The water is outgoing, but that means that we're going with an outgoing tide. The water might be a little bit dingy, but we do have some lures to counteract that. And we've got some deep diving and shallow diving lures with the chartreuse, We'll be using the white worm today. And uh, honestly, the water is actually looking a lot cleaner than I expected. So we may end up just doing a traditional uh, Yozuri white uh, tip or red tip uh, with a white body. So we'll use a white and red with a traditional white worm. So that is what we're going to be doing. Uh, we'll start again in the San Joaquin. We'll try the couple shoals and the Thule points out in that area. Uh, we'll run the line. Once or twice, we'll mark fish. If we're not marking fish, we'll move to the next point, and then we're gonna make our way out down towards the Antioch area, and uh, we'll see if we can find fish that way. That's all I have to say for today, other than we're just really, really excited. I am excited, and uh, let's get the ball rolling here, guys. Let's go. Rolling. Disaster line. That's two lines. I mean, I got debris right now. I don't see fish swimming down there. Show the camera how we work. Check this out, guys. Check it out. That is a schoolie striper right there. I know they're down there. I can see them down there. I see what you're doing. I told Bob I would put them on a fish in this line. I found the fish and now they're biting. Yeah, they are stacked heavy. Go. 
You're gonna roll right over that ledge where they're stuck. Schoolie, schoolie. So I'm reminded, you told me that was your first trolling fish? What's that? There you go, fish on. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Did I say not? There you go, I put my boy on a second trolling fish. There, oh, he's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that might be borderline. Yep. Let's go. This is another 17. What's gotta be 22? 18. Yeah. 18 with Alright, so here is the update guys. It's about 10 30. We're at the bottom of the tide. It seems like the tide is still ripping even though it says that we're at the bottom of the tide, the absolute bottom. We have a natural current still flowing at about three miles an hour. So we're going upstream against the current. We've got fish stacked and marked all over the place. They are all over this, uh, this island here, uh, up on the north side of the island. I'll show it to you as soon as I can uh, edit the video, but you'll see what I mean. Um, we're sitting in about 20 to 25 feet, but there's a lot of points that come up to 10 feet, and it's a perfect zone for these fish or these stripers to, to ambush because they're all just hunkered in 20 to 30 feet. Um, and as we cross over those tops, we're getting bit. Yeah, we've, we've landed four fish and they're not that big. They're schoolies about 16 to 17 inches. We're hoping to get uh, a keeper in the box and that's what we're still looking for. But we're catching a ton of fish. We lost a couple fish. Who knows how big that one was, but I'm pretty sure that was a keeper. It looked like a good fight, right, Bob? So yeah, we're gonna keep working at it. And uh, if we don't find any more quality size fish in our area, we're gonna move because we definitely wanna come home with some fish. Um, it's fun catching these smallies, but we want something bigger uh, that we can keep. So and we want these spawning fish. We want these spawning fish. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the update for now. Uh, I'll keep you updated on the on the next uh, hour or so. Hey Bob, Hi. don't screw this one up. <laughs> no guarantee. Guys, now you know the reason why I say Bob, don't screw this one up. If you ever heard me say that, you know when we're out fishing, I say Bob, don't screw it up. That's what I mean. <laughs> it's not just saying it, it's reminding him not to screw oh up. Oh my god, we're crashing. No, we're not. Just don't screw up. You let Captain do his job. Captain Rick here! <laughs> okay, there's fish. Let's go. Drop them. All over the place, Bob. zone 16 feet exactly where they need to be On. Already. Don't screw that one up. He's not on there anymore. No, come on. Damn it. Are you serious? Dead Bob. serious. Oh. Wow. Oh. So I didn't. What do you mean? Yeah. I'm so. I went. I grabbed the pole. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. To me. Uh, I mean, I'm not counting or anything, but I'm pretty sure that was two fish. <laughs> he wasn't even out there when I got the Yeah, one. okay, whatever. That's for people who don't catch fish or don't know how to land them. 
say, you got this. Oh, that, thank God you're not an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll talk about this one. We'll talk about it after the trip. The trip's not over yet. You gotta make up for those two. Gosh. That hurt. What do you mean two? I know. It doesn't count until you see it, right? It doesn't even count until you feel it. <laughs> but you picked it up. But it wasn't there. Yeah. It's okay. It wasn't there. It's okay. I know how it feels. It's a loose fish. I think I lost one like 10 years ago. <laughs> That's a lot of shit talking. <laughs> I almost forgot how it feels to lose fish. Uh, Leaving it up to the uh, rookies. I want to call you guys deckhands, but that's not what you are when you're fishing. The freshman team? Yeah. You guys are playing like it. This guy's going to go right over there. Touch the fish that he Yeah, probably. Oh, oh, oh. There one. you go. See, don't mess that up. Oh, I got one. Yes, do not mess that one up. Come on, you got it this time. I'm gonna keep going because we can get a double or a shuffle here. We're gonna get, oh, oh. I, I'm marking fish oh. now. Is that a good one? Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. He's not on there. Bob, you're killing I'm me. I'm shaking up. No, come on. Come on, he's there. He's floating at the top, probably. Oh, yeah, yes. he's there. Okay. <laughs> I got more fish on the way. We're on them, we're on them. So Guys, that's how that piece. works. How we doing? It's a straight piece. Yes. I would have bet that he was. Show him to the camera. Let him know that's the one that you could have had. And got back. And found us on the... Guys, they are killing the red and the white today. Yozuri, deep diving lures. All the fish are stacked in the zone. Oh! Yeah. I don't think I've ever had problems with the Azuri. They're just well made. 18 feet, now we're in the zone. So give it about 30 seconds for our lures to get in the same zone we want to be in. The fish are stacked right here at 16 feet. Okay, get ready. I see him down there. It's coming up to about 10 feet here. Do their funny dance as we come up to 10 feet. Oh, oh. That was the funny dance. The funny dance. 10 feet. You're, you're gonna have some weird stuff happen. You gotta be ready. Yeah. But the fish are in that funny dance zone, so you just never know. Again, it's 10 feet in that area. Okay. Three minutes. Got a fish off. Oh, you got it! Yes! Just as I picked it up. I didn't expect that. Did you see that? That was insane. It's a small one, though. It's nothing, nothing to brag about, but I did pick up a fish. Just as I picked it up. That's awesome. Got it Hey, guys. Check that out. Another 16-ish. It's a good fish. They're healthy. And they're schoolied up in about... Some bigger ones but hey we're landing these fish and they're definitely definitely here okay i think we got to get out of this yeah. until we get oh no never mind i, I take it way back oh, they're got a whole out. pocket yeah. coming up on 17. i'm gonna go into short oh my gosh this this is it bob i think we're gonna get a quadruple so? i know so quadruple right here be prepared for the quadruple. 13 feet. 13 feet. First quadruple right here. 
All right, guys, there is our Delta fish right there. We're thinking it's about a 29, yeah? Look, California Delta, this is how we do it. We've been working hard all day for keepers and we finally got a keeper. Well, second keeper. We did it. Ready for rock? folks so the update is there you go right there the bigger fish are over here by Ito's on the San Joaquin side of the Delta and it took us a while to locate them but we found them so yeah that's where they're at for sure we got a whole bunch of smallies over there on West Island but the bigger ones over here on this side Okay, we're making that run again. There was a lot of fish on that point. You're too busy. Nope. Got 97 other points. Let's make that. Let's make that run. Oh, I got a fish on. Yes. This is a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, get that line up. Just as I said that. Did you just grab it? I did. I grabbed it and then there's a base of the move. I was drinking it in like this. Second time. Okay, guys, here we go. This is a 20 inch fish. Nice keeper. Nice keeper. Right, folks well that wraps it up for today we had a fantastic day on the water lots of small schoolies all over the West Island we came back towards the San Joaquin side uh, towards the Brandon Island area we were trolling that area near Edo's and we picked up three really great keepers 22 and above and then we got a nice I, th I think it was a 26 but it was pretty big um, there's there are males out here uh, smaller males the females haven't shown up yet, and I think it's because the water temperature is still 57. We want that water temperature to be close to 61 and above. The weather to warm up for the real spawn to kick off, but when that happens, it's gonna be a, an awesome, awesome spring. That's all I can say. If we had this good of an outing for water temperatures the way they are, just imagine uh, when the water temperature is right. So we're gonna end the video here. I hope I got enough footage. It was just me and my buddy. Um, the water was doing some funky things and the current was taking the boat all kinds of directions so I couldn't get a whole lot of footage with the, uh, with the GoPro uh, selfie stick. So I'm going to see what I can extract out of this and, and I'll see if I can make a video at all but I'm sure I can, I can wing something up. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you watched uh, Bob Tangle 17 times. I think I'm pretty sure that's what, <laughs> that's what happened. Um, Every time we came over a spot, we got tangled. I don't know, it was just a feat of bad luck. So, yep, I'm gonna wrap this up and we're gonna head home now. I'll check you guys out. You do come out here, work the San Joaquin side. The water's a lot cleaner. I expected it to be dirty, but it's not dirty at all. Three to four feet visibility. I was hitting them and nailing them with the deep diving white and red Yozuri. If you had a pea line predator, I'm sure that would work equally as well. So, Anyway, now I'm really out, guys. See you later. Well, folks, we are off the water. Like I said, it was a really fantastic kickoff. 
lots of smallies, 16, 17 inch schools hanging off the West Island. But I will say that if you're looking for bigger fish, you may have to wait about a week or so for the water temperatures to warm up just a bit for the bigger females to start showing up uh, for the spawn. But most of the, uh, the action came out of uh, Ito's Marina, just outside of Ito's Marina. Um, that's where we found them anyway. If you found them anywhere else, you can leave a comment and let me know. But for this week, they're all in Ito's. So yeah, have a great day. Can't wait to share with you what we've got going on.